No, I didn't. I didn't. I mean, I two still days later, still. Yeah, the tape. Uh, the tape showed really what I saw with the naked eye. But that's some of it. Again, you know how I handle these scrimmages and exhibitions. I think it's much more important to get the newcomers. Even a guy like Sam Finley, who's not a newcomer to Division One basketball, and he's a junior. He's 21 years old. He's never had a uniform on that said Ole Miss. He's never. Uh, been in this situation before. So I, I think it's very, very important to let those guys play and to try to, honestly, I try to create adversity for them throughout the course of the game. Uh, we go with some lineups that they'll probably never really see in, in real games. And I just want to see how they handle different things. So from that aspect, uh, there were a lot of positives. We've got to sit down and guard the ball. I thought the free flowingness of the game, I think we were up 41 19, we were scoring a bunch of points, and we just kind of got into that mindset of you score, I score, you score, I score. Uh, and that's something that obviously we're going to work uh, this week to change. We started on that yesterday. Was it awareness? Was it effort? What, what were you not seeing defensively? I, I, really, I really thought it was, to me, defense is about effort and angles. I think for the most part, our effort's been pretty good. Our angles are not great. And then with these new uh, points of emphasis as it relates to how they're allowing you to defend, there's a lot of fouls, and I think it's made us very, very tentative on the ball. We can use that to our advantage uh, offensively. I think uh, Moody shot maybe 12 free throws in 20-some-odd minutes. Sam shot double-digit free throws in low minutes. So it goes both ways, but we've got to figure out, okay, we've still got to guard the ball. And we allowed Clayton State to get into a rhythm and then they started making some more difficult shots. But that's what happens. You develop a little bit of offensive rhythm, some confidence, and then the other team starts playing better offensively. And we allowed that to happen. And that's something that we cannot allow ourselves to do moving forward. I feel like you had several guys shoot the ball really well. This team, I've got a drill that we do. Uh, I could name it, but it wouldn't mean anything to you. But ultimately, our goal is to hit an X number of percentage of shots. Last year's team, only made that percentage probably 30% of the time. Uh, this year's team has made it about 80, 85% of the time. So it tells me that we do have better shooters. For us, it's a matter of taking quality shots. And as we've put in now about a month of, of practice leading into the start of the season on Friday, I, I've tried to figure out where they're the most effective and that's how we'll run our offense, trying to put them in those positions as we do every year. But this is a group that, that has got a number of guys that can make shots. We've just got to make sure that it's in the, the, the course of what we're trying to get accomplished offensively. Throughout the preseason, it was kind of assumed that Sam would be the guy that's you know, be the point guard, take the minutes of course, and starts in the exhibition. How, how tight is that uh, between the two guys? It's day to day, honestly. I mean, I'm not trying to be coy. I, I, I think the, the number one thing for me is a point. You get, you got to have ball security. You got to make good decisions with the ball. You got to get the ball to the right people at the right time, and then you got to contain the ball. Neither one of them were very good defensively, but I thought offensively they were both uh, they both contributed. We scrimmaged middle. We played an exhibition game against Clayton State. JT's played roughly 40 minutes total if you were to count the games only, and he has not turned the ball over, which is a huge positive, and it was the reason that he got to start leading into Clayton State. Uh, Sam's a guy that's got a scorer's mentality. I like that uh, from your guards, especially with a 30 second clock, especially with the rules as they are, because he's very, very difficult to stay in front of. In, in the, the two games, he's gotten to the foul line about 25 times. Uh, that's something that he does with his ability to dribble drive. Um, we've got to guard the ball better. We've got to secure it. But both those guys are going to get great opportunities. And uh, whoever's playing better that night will honestly get the most minutes. What challenges does JT face with uh, not being 6'3"? The biggest thing is, is for him, it's just the speed of this game. You know, all of the newcomers, just the speed of the game. JT's a quick guy. He's got to figure out angles and got to figure out how to, how to guard the players at this level. He's a good shooter. He's fast. He's athletic. Uh, so I don't, from a size standpoint, I don't, I don't think we're going to have huge issues in our backcourt. Andy, how much the, the guards that West and Woodley that Northwestern State has, I mean, that might be the highest – Turning, scoring guard tandem in the country. What kind of test will that be for your for your new it's guards? It's a dangerous first game. Um, you know they've got a lot of. I hate to bring this up. I've tried to use a lot of counseling to get this out of my mind, but <laughs> I, it reminds me a lot of Charleston Southern. Their team that's predicted to be right at the top of their league. You know Stephen F. Austin has had mm -hmm. such a great run under Brad Underwood that, that they're still the prohibited favorite. But Northwestern State is a solid second. If you believe the, the projections leading into the year, they've got seniors across their board. 
Coach McConaughey has done an incredible job of, of uh, putting guys together and playing to a system. They're small, so we're going to have to be able to guard the bounce. They're they got four different guys that can stretch you. Um, and that point guard, I mean, the, the, he got 20 some out of game last year at about eight assists. I'm not sure there was a player in college basketball that had a greater percentage of his team's offensive production than the one we're going to face uh, Friday night. Upperclassmen, difficult first game for us, so we've got to make sure that we're locked in, especially defensively. They led the nation in scoring last year. What would be a success in your mind, Sam, from your guys against what you're going to see from those guards Friday? I just want to win. <laughs> I, 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 I've kind of, I'm going into year number 10. You know, I, a lot of stats mean things as it relates to how your team is playing, but at the end of the day, uh, I just want us to win the game. I want us to, to be able to sit down and contain them, not allow them to run wild in the open floor, and then offensively execute, get the ball to the right people at the right time, and be efficient.